Hmm. We've already earned, uh, like, three cards in, uh, in Steamland. So, that's exciting, I suppose. Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Happy, uh... Day. Um... There we go. That's, that's working. I have, as I did last stream, got that sprite. I have um, a fortune cookie. So let's see if we get a better fortune than last time. And by that I mean like get a for guys. Guys, there's no fortune. Cease this. God. Cease! Fucking spoilers. There, there's no fortune. You, you can you can see right through it. There's no fortune then there. And... There's... There's no fortune here, I don't think. Let me open. Yeah, no. We have no future. That's... That sure is a fortune cookie. Honestly, more of a fortune than the, the last one we opened, so I guess there's that. I guess. <laughs> it kind of hurts to smile today. Um, like, I don't, I think I bit my lip or like inside of my cheek, like up here somewhere. And it is unfortunate because it really doesn't feel good to like smile. Okay, I'll just head to the thing. Um, so hopefully the, the game doesn't make me laugh too much today, I suppose. Ideally. So I, su I assume I'm just supposed to beat up. Oh, it's the weapon salesman. Hey, dude. Oh, the scam. His arm, but I bumped into his shoulder. Oh no, he messed up everything. Hey, I'm a taxi driver. I can I can bring you to the hospital for free. Are you a little old to be playing Teddy Shakedowns? All right, show them the money. I have more um, peach pear. Yeah, peach pear water today. I also have a Mountain Dew I haven't opened yet. All right, there, I'll wait. I'll wait to open that for when, uh, you know. Oh, nice dodge. No, I want to do the red thing. All right, I guess I'll just do that. We'll call it good. But yeah, see, I hope that your Wednesday is uh, is going better than than mine is, because like at the like close to the end of my workday, maybe like three or so. I was talking to someone and I was like, wait a minute, wait a second, isn't tomorrow Friday? <laughs> and you know how like, like, like depressing that is to realize that it's, that it's Wednesday. Uh, uh, no. See ya. Oh, wait, what? Susie's on, right? Would you mind coming by my shop? In addition to Kamurocho and downtown Ryukyu, I've also set up a shop in Nagasugai. I'm sure, some of you will find something useful there. So, how about a key? I mean, Suzuki san. Alright. <laughs> Lead the way. Look, it's that side quest thing that I literally never use in like any of the games since the first. Not that it's not good. 
I just, I just don't care. Although this is like a way nicer place than his other one. Okay. I'm trying to go national, but I'm short on funds. Tell me materials you might not need. Huh. Okay, that I might actually do. That reminds me of uh, Mother. Let me invest some items, because I think we had like a piece of platinum or something, right? Uh, you can have the plates. No, only take one. Interesting. Calming tower? When did I get that? I'm gonna sell that gold plate. Hmm. I'm gonna assume that you can only invest like one of each item. The gold plate would instantly level it up, but I, I kind of want to sell that so we have stuff to give to the orphanage. Oh wait, high grade platinum, there it is. See, this is something I... Wow! It really doesn't move the needle at all, huh? That's kind of depressing. Um, repair, maybe? Oh, alright, never mind. Cool, thanks Kamiyama. See, this is a way nicer place than his other ones. Like, Yakuza 3, wasn't he working outside, like, out of a van? In this one, he's got... Fish? What, what, what is that? Jellyfish? Is that, are those jellyfish? They're so tiny. There's a chainsaw, like cola. His thing is falling apart at the bottom, kind of looks like. Weird skull things. The lamp from the Pixar opening. Huh, he racks them interestingly. Another chainsaw, he has two chainsaws. Wait, hold on. Did he have a battle axe? Yes, he does. He has a battle axe. Man, the dude loves weapons. Look at that. Got the like revolver and everything. European tribes, deep water crash down. I wonder what these are. Like, how much of this stuff is real stuff versus like really close like parodies that's cool that's that's a neat shop okay so that's done uh i think we're just supposed to go beat people up Like that, that, I think that's the objective right now is just go find people wearing red jumpsuits and beat them up. Which is kind of a odd thing to do, but it's fine. I'm sure I'll run into plenty of people. This is kind of like open season for, uh, for doing sub stories probably. Which we could do, what's this place? I like the music. Rouge Vivia. It's like pop music or something? Oh wait, look at the... I like the little fashion magazines. They're both pretty cute. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Wait, who's mad at me? I don't see a tracksuit, so I don't care. Hello. 
Sombra realist. I highly doubt they'd be driving a flower parade car around. Yeah. Uh, taxi with a blinking red light. Huh? Don't mean to. Can you come up with the taxi? Taxi with the blinking light. What do you call those light taxi? Let's have on the roof. I totally never seen anything like that. The light you see on a taxi's roof that usually means it's not carrying a passenger, correct? Oh, uh, right. But in an emergency, you can make it blink red to warn those around you that something's wrong. And what? For example, if the driver is attacked by a thief, they can press a button to silently call for help. Oh, is that taxi I saw? Where do you see it? I stopped in Nagas Boulevard, north of the intersection up ahead. A little while ago, though, so it might already be gone. I'll go take a look. Can you notify the police just in case? Sure, you're gonna be alright, dude? Drivers always come to help anyone join that signal you want to another company. Oh, so you're a taxi driver too? Dang! So I thought you were your coo- <clears throat> I mean, that's why you know so much. Be careful! <laughs> okay, so North Boulevard, so... This way, take a right. After we kick this guy's ass. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I was- I was in like a really good mood Monday. So maybe it's just like that like coming back down to like normal land is what uh like shortened my week a bit as it were and maybe you feel like tomorrow should be friday it's weird though because like i i took a day off today or i took a day off this week sorry so you would think that if anything it would feel like earlier in the week to me Apparently not. I mean, things have been like super busy, I guess, for me as of late. And um, being in the apartment that I'm currently in temporarily, the um, like I sit away from things and such so I can concentrate on the work and whatnot. So I feel like I'm doing maybe a little bit more work, or maybe there's just been more stuff recently. I don't know, either way, it's exhausting, I guess is my, my point. This is just very, very tiring. So, I am very glad that uh, we get to enjoy the simple things of uh, Q's life and punching things. All right, here we go. The, okay, so I also was just in my Japanese class. Uh, towards Suzuki, Suzukaki, like. I assume that's east? No, west, probably, right? Where am I here? Oh, it's the name of the street. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, so, um. What was I saying? Oh, um. So I was just in Japanese class for an hour or so. And it felt really long. And I was having trouble focusing and paying attention. But one of the things that I did pay attention to today was when uh, the teacher was talking, or no, not the teacher, one of my classmates was talking about how apparently there's like some kind of program where uh, you can learn Japanese woodworking in Japan and like help make boats and houses or something like that. And she's like semi thinking about it. <laughs> I'm like, that's impressive considering she has a husband and like a life here and all this stuff. But she's like, I wanna go do woodworking in Japan. <laughs> if she does, that'd be pretty cool. But also, like, I've, I've definitely talked before about how, like, you know, the American beauty thing and dropping things and going and working on other things entirely and such. And it's like, Japanese woodworking would be a pretty cool, cool thing to do. Be way less time to play FGO, though.
one shot KO. But yeah. Ow. Ow. Sorry. Gotta use one hand for a second here. I just like pinched myself or something the way I was sitting. Dude, no, 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 no. Kick him. Forgiveness. Oh, here it is. Here's the taxi. The absent-minded man. Hey, what gives? I hang around. Driver's a friend of mine. Called out when I saw he was acting real strange. Come on, what's something about you, Kuda? Then he glanced up his rearview mirror and spit off also. Is he now, like, afraid of us? Hmm. Hmm. Why is this guy, like... Victory Road Qualifier? What? What do you mean, Victory Road Qualifier? He has more than one health bar. Who is this guy? Come on, Victory Road. Who is this guy? I'm never going to make it out of the qualifiers. What are you talking about? I'm in the Victory Road tournament. I thought you were too. Serious prize money forever proves to be the ultimate street fighter in Japan. You're in a special category, Cosmo Kiyosan. Who are you? Tournament staff. Oh. Got the wrong guy. Taiki Suzuki will be, will be just fine. Most of the entrants already assumed that you'll participate. Who the fuck is this guy? A certain tournament entrant told us we were in town. Um, yeah, who? Okay. That's cool and all, but... What? No, aren't you the taxi that's having trouble? Huh? Oh, there it is. I know you've been following. What is it you want? You're the one behind this. Now she's come to me. What did you do with the driver? Huh? We need damn sense. Taxi drivers might be rivals, but we gotta look out for each other. Am I fighting the taxi driver himself right now? Also, the camera is not being my friend right now. Crushing the competition. You're the accused, I'm just an ordinary civilian. I'm the civilian here. You mean you're not the angry Yakuza passenger? How does that mean? Do I look like Yakuza to you? Kind of fish lips. Are you the driver? Of course I'm the driver. Then why aren't you wearing a uniform? <laughs> Some break. What's the point of being all buttoned up for that? So you weren't getting robbed? Robbed? I thought a passenger was driving you, that's why you were driving erratically. Why on earth were you thinking that? Thinking that was what we used to try, try to get in the car, so I drove off. 
The guy kept chasing after me that was crazy or something. What? Oh, whoops. Must have hit the switch while I was napping again. Then the toss and turn on my side sleeper, you see. <laughs> well, sorry about that. Didn't take you for one of us. Allergic to you because I that I had a pretty good instinct for spotting them. Mm hmm. So, we're gonna have to trip that switch back soon again. Alright, taxi drivers, maybe you're aroused. got to look out for each other. Worst lip boy. Here's here's a drink that I didn't drink, clearly, because I'm not, like, awake right now. Alright, I guess since I picked up that victory road thing, that I'll head over to, to that. Yeah, it was bridge. So, we'll do that, and we'll hit the save point along the way. For funsies. But yeah, I don't know why I've been, like... The entire, uh, like, previous class for Japanese. And so this, like, I've been having trouble just paying attention. Like... I didn't have this issue before, even with the, uh... With the online classes but like i'm still studying every day in some regard like whether it's kanji practice or um or like reviewing vocab or doing like an audio lesson kind of thing like you know listening practice and that sort of stuff all of that like i'm, I'm still doing that but when it comes to actually just sitting down for an hour and like looking at slides and occasionally like speaking up for things and such like it just like my attention right. wanes so quickly Ren Higashino yeah. didn't mean to blow your cover uh huh <laughs> okay yeah. oh okay also apologize I'm I'm reading at my reading speed, <laughs> and not reading out loud. I know, like, me talking about how lazy I've been feeling recently and such. Maybe you don't believe me that it's how fast I read, but, you know, believe it or not, despite how slowly I go through, like, visual novels and those kind of things when we're reading them out loud, like Ace Attorney and whatnot, I do read fairly quickly. I used to read a lot as a kid, actually. Like, um... My... both... both my sisters were into reading. The elder one more so into comics and such, like she'd read, like, X-Men and stuff like that. But, um, the younger of the two, because they're both older than me, uh, was, like, ultra into reading. And she used to read us, like, Lord of the Rings before bed. And, like, got me into Redwall and all sorts of those fun things and so i used to read those books ah. a good amount um i'm on board to keep things on the down low but you can unlock the chosen one <laughs> that makes me think of um uh what is it tongue of fury What's, what's, that's like the subtitle. What is the name of the, uh, movie? Kung Pao? Yeah, Kung Pao Tongue of Fury. Alright, well... I was head straight down the street then, I suppose. After I beat up this host. Why these hosts have a sword is beyond me. I was going to say attack me, but then that guy came out of nowhere. Kawahara, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be studying the blade. You're supposed to be studying, like, pickup artist stuff. And, like, how to woo a lady and make them happy. You too, Ishii. You cease that right now. 
Bad. Bad host. So his friend picked it up? Okay, so there was only ever one sword. Why do the hosts have swords? What? Why did you- why- what? Holy shit, what did I do? Why is everyone so mad at me right now? held down the L trigger so I wouldn't have to uh, use my heat on the other guy and then mess it up there. Where's the other guy? Is he calling for help? You? Matsushima? Seriously, why are they... There are so many angry people. Like, that's another guy right there, right? Except this is a, uh... Devil Killers? Okay, dude, just- just fight me. But yeah, I don't really know why, um... What's up with that? I'm, currently, my, my working theory on this is just like... Uh, so, I mean, has this ever happened to you? Where, like, you're fine. You're doing good. Not a care in the world, almost. And then, like, someone asks you if you're okay. And, like, the mere act of them asking you this is enough to be like, is, is there something wrong? 21st century mom. Okay. It, well, aren't you a clever little thing? But smartphones are for grown-ups, dear. Mom, if you love me, you'll get me a smartphone. He's a 21st century kid. Nobody ever asked you if anything's wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, Ian. I can ask you if you want. But, like... Like, I don't know. I was fine. Monday was great. Um, but today I thought that tomorrow was Friday. So, that's... That's how today was, I guess. I think just, like, the past two days, for me, have been extremely busy with work. And so, like brain wise I was like oh it must be the end of the week because I've done so much work even though I had Monday off so like I don't know that's weird because like I've I've just done so much crap in the past two days I suppose that uh even having Monday off still screwed my brain over but then it was just weird because like um one of my one of my employees who's going on vacation was like um like they they were they asked me a question because they needed an answer for something. And then after that, they also like checked in to see if I was doing okay. I'm like, was I not doing okay? Like, what did I look bizarre? Is it just that, you know, my hair is doing fun poofy out things? Do I look wild? What's up with that? Also, I wasn't paying attention to that side story at all. Sorry, I was only enjoying the fact that it said, uh, 21st century people. Also, look at that man. Look at that. What a glorious, like... It, he looks so distinguished. That's, that's the only word that I can think of that comes to mind there. It's just like... He looks like a cool-ass dude. 
But yeah, like when someone asks you if you're wrong, it makes you like pause and be like, is something wrong? And then it's like, well, I've been busy, but I don't think anything's wrong. It's like, but maybe I don't know that there's something wrong. Maybe I'm missing something that only like someone else with a different pain can see, but still, what even? I don't know, it's a, it's a weird, this is not my workplace. Anyway, I don't really want to like bring down the vibes too much of wacky Q Cosma time. But it is bothering me, I suppose. Alright, where's water? He's the, what, this is water, right? No, this is... Mer oh wait, water's the guy in the back over by the, the thing over there. Did I just accidentally start a sub-story? Uh, things aren't looking too good. Computers? That computer's been so Oh! Is it time to become a programmer? Empty windows kept popping up. They won't stop. Wait, I know what this is. This is one of those cyber terrorist attacks. No, Muramatsu. We just discovered your Gyaru fetish. That's all. Cider terrorism. What's that? I'm kidding. He doesn't have a Gyaru fetish. He probably has... Hmm... Do you think he has a collection of Gravier movies like we had in uh, the previous games? Do you think Miramatsu goes to those like video things? Or do you think he's like too timid to even go to one of those booths? Hacking up food. <laughs> First of all, whack the box. Tap random keys on the keyboard. Pull out the cord at the back of the box. First, disconnect from the internet. That's the power. Oh no, he does. Okay, it is the internet pen. Does that do the trick? Oh, I was right. She needs more. <laughs> Probably said with that moaning sound when the chorus pulled out to stop us from getting the bottom of this. Do you think there actually is a virus that does this? We can't have a girl moaning in the office all day. Especially not one who keeps asking us to put it back in. That is so good. To put the cable back in. Next up, whack the box, restart the computer. No. I don't want to whack the box. I guess plug it back in. But doesn't this just give them access again? The face. Oh, we're so skilled. The last resort. Uh, let's stop them. What do people think if they walk in here this voice moaning away? Just unplug the speakers. If you get hit by a cyber terrorism attack. Oh, this is just a joke program. I'll install my antivirus software for you. This is why you gotta use McAfee antivirus security that wears the cool, like, 
silk robe for you and takes all these moaning ladies away onto their secret island where they meet up with Norton. Good job. Good job here, Kawasan. This is the kind of program you often find lurking on adult sites. I prefer if you didn't view those sites on work PCs from now on. What? You're not suggesting what I think you are. Where's your evidence? You shouldn't assume the worst of people. <sighs> Which one of them do you think did it? I wonder if whacking it would have worked. That was an easy sub story, I guess. All right, this is water, right? Yeah. All right, uh, I need you to help me about 21st century kids or something. Yeah. Uh, they say when people write, you're so connected in a way. Plenty of ways to stay in touch even when you can't be there in person. <laughs> is that it? I guess I'll try and do what I can. You know how useless that is to me when I didn't really listen to other things? Another Haruka. Oh. Q. Wait, why did it say Q there? What? Why, why does it say Q right there? That's weird. Um, hi. First of the four kings. We probably shouldn't do that yet. But you know what I haven't done? I haven't tried one of these free highway drive things yet. So I'm, I'm gonna do that because I don't, I wanna know what it's like. Is this just like practice mode? Yeah, it's, it's just practice mode. Oh, but we can go in any of the highways? Well, that's cool. Let's do, um, let's do a lap around the outskirts. Oh, and you get points. So this is like a, um, like an easy way to just be like, hey, I need to, well, I want to like collect points and don't want to actually do any racing missions or anything difficult at the moment. I just, I just want to drive and listen to this badass music. Ooh, this is like a, a tight turn here. This is like trying to teach you how to do this, I think, though. To some extent. Like, cutting around the corners. It's probably gonna be pretty difficult when we... When we do that. And we'll need to, like, choose the right chassis and that kind of thing for acceleration. And, like, good handling. Though this loop-de-loop -loop that's coming up should be interesting as well. So yeah, see it's like come in from the angle and then take that. Okay, th same thing here, right? Yeah. Probably could have given it more gas. Do 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 I wonder if it times your laps at all. Okay, going from the outside into the end. Brum. Um, okay, thanks. Quit. That's nice though. I could I I could enjoy that and just pretend I'm playing burnout or um uh most wanted. But let's let's do a mission now. Um 
The Harrying Harpy. Let's help a complaining old lady. How about that? That sounds like a good idea to me. Also, I got um I got all my travel plans for work scheduled away, which is good. We're late by fifteen seconds. I wonder what sort of... Is this going to be an actual driving mission or is this just a talking mission? Oh, it's just a talking one. Not just a boulevard in three minutes. Got it. Sorry, but that's not possible. I'll do my absolute best. Let's tell her how it is. Why not? The last time I got me there, I took coming three minutes. I'm going to complain about the next girl. What time was it when you last took this trip? Oh, it was two or three in the morning. Time and I may do a boat right now. The roads are busy. Hmm. Just go as fast as you can. The noise is bugging me. Noise. That blowing sound. Oh, that's just the sound of the heater. It's really getting my nerves. Let's ask her preference. Shall I turn the heater off? Switch off the heater on a cold day. I guess I catch a cold. Are you going to pay my medical bills? Then it's fine to leave it on. Yeah, yeah, just leave the damn thing on. What about the noise? Tch, I'm used to it now. <laughs> Ma'am, there's a truck parked where you wanted me to drop you off, so I'll stop a bit short. What? You won't drop me where I asked you to? It's only a few meters away. Oh, fine. Apologize for the inconvenience. You realize you won't get paid now, right? What? Nandato? That's not how it goes. You dropped to take me where I asked you to. Uh, I'm not just bullying you. I'm trying to uphold standards. Calmly persuade her. Get angry. Just keep listening. Um, she doesn't seem the type to be persuaded. Let's let her rant. Too many tracks, taxi drivers, street thick passenger looking missiles. Don't think we're training, I highly doubt it. No professionalism at all. You gotta remember, this is a service industry. These days we get drivers who don't even know the roads or drive like maniacs. In the magazine, manners and morals when tax drivers have taken a dive. Also, so that some of you guys used to be presidents of failed companies. What's the world coming to? Work hard all your life, the one mistake you're out on the curb. Your wife and child leaving you by the roadside. What a miserable time. Kids these days have their hopes and dreams crushed before they even get out of school. Who's responsible for this one? This is like Old Bag. This this reminds me heavily of Wendy Old Bag from Ace Attorney. Almost want to give her the same voice. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll get on with it. What is she even complaining about now? Beer? No, Mountain Dew. Uh, gamer beer. Diet Mountain Dew. No, not Coke Zero Vanilla. But, uh... Coke Zero Vanilla makes me want to get... That just makes me want to order Wendy's. Because they have the uh, soda stream things where you can, like, choose, you know, like, Coke with... The, the different things, like cherry vanilla. Cherry vanilla Coke is so good. Or like peach. Peach Sprite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love those soda stream things. They're so fun to just like screw with all the different flavors. Come up with the really weird combos. Here's the fair. And we got a tip for listening to her bitch about her life. How did the how did the word bitch become that? Like, like, okay, so like, a bitch is a female dog, right? Like, dictionary-wise. And when someone's bitching, like, they're nagging and, like, being yelpy and, like, I guess, like, barking like a dog, I suppose. Like, the kind of, like, I think of, like, yip dogs. You know, like, the tiny little ones that bark all the time. So I guess, like, if someone's bitching at you, it's they, they sound like a small, angry dog. I appreciate the service. Did 
That wasn't so bad, though. The talking ones are definitely easier than the uh, than the driving ones because the driving ones are probably difficult and probably just a grade one. Yeah, I mean, what would the male equivalent be? Like when a dude, when a dude keeps like bemoaning everything and whatnot. If like you're lazy around and whatnot, that's lollygagging, but that's not like quite the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if there is something like male specific. Hey, wait, did we go on a mixer with this lady? She's quite attractive, but. <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's so like. That's so like out of place. Is something wrong? Yes. I was just nosing, noticing something. Please get in. Oh, that's like, that gives me the same feelings as like, you know, when you're like out eating food with someone, like maybe you went and like got a burger or something and like someone like bites or eats something and then they just get like a glob of sauce or something like on their face or like in a beard or something like that. And like, they don't notice it. And it's just there staring you in the face and you're just like, I need to say something. But like maybe they're talking so you like don't want to interrupt them and you're just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you can't keep your eyes off of it. She really has no idea there's a nose hair dangling right above her upper lip. What should I do? It's my duty to tell her, ask her what her plans are first. Some things are better left unsaid. What are her plans? She uh, go into the uh, like salon? I'm going to my very first day. Oh, we should tell her. I was never really the popular girl in school. Oh, so she like cleaned herself up for this. Gathered up the courage to ask this guy I like out to dinner, and he said yes. They're off to a good start. Oh, thanks. I had a little research on things he likes, and I bought myself a new outfit, complete with complimenting purse. I think I'm good to go, but I'm still a bit nervous. It'd be my first date and all. It could be a bit scatterbrained sometimes, so I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Yeah. When I'm crushed with confidence, I think I should use some subtlety here. I'll tell her to quickly redo her makeup. I'll just point the rearview mirror at her. I mean, if she does her makeup in a moving car, that seems like a bad idea. I'll try to go the subtle route. Please notice. Hmm? <gasps> Oh, good, she noticed. She's like, Kshk. God, that would hurt. Here's the fair. Take this nose hair as well. You sure? Thanks, thank you for, um, yeah. Oh, well, I hope she has a good date. Gambate. Gamba. I believe in her. I I hope that we get like a second, like taxi thing with her or something, or like more, and like we keep like seeing like how far she gets. That'd be cool. I like it when we have like little side stories like that. Uh, voice of the people. All right. What do we got going on here? I'm from Nagasa Taxi. Sorry for the wait. Nagasawa Street, if you would. He's a member of the Diet. They think he should be. He could be the next Prime Minister. All right, my friend. We will avoid Kamiyama's shop. This means some supporters. Who did you vote for in the last section? What an awkward fucking question. You, of course. I only moved here six months ago. We'll just be truthful. So many people leaving these days is always good to see new blood moving in. Hope to pump some new life into Fukuoka. Think about incorporating ideas from the public in my campaign. What do you think the biggest problem is today? I do think it's harder for young people to hold up their hopes and dreams these days. 
Ow. <laughs> Guys. How, how's, how's your hopes and dreams going? They okay? Rent price. Yeah. There's too many kids out fooling around as it's working. The birth rates. Is this Abe-sama? Is it Shinzo? Have you, are you in this game right now? Oh, they're thinking they don't seem to want to listen to adults like me. They're not like Chris Redfield and his sister. What do you do when young people aren't really willing to hear you out? You beat some sense into them. You cater the taste, you should be listening to them. How about that? You think I should listen to young people? What? Well, they don't hear you out, but have you been giving them a voice to speak with? There you go. I don't remember talking to many young people in the past. We're just not on the same wavelength. It's like they're a whole different species. They just keep talking about their drip. And I don't know what that means. And yelling about their waifus. When you were young, didn't you get sick of being ignored by those who are older than you? I did do my fair share of partying. That never went down well with my parents. Think about me, the youth of today aren't so different. There we go. Happy to be of service. I'll give you a big tip if you promise to back me in the election. I don't take tips like that. That depends on how big the tip is. I'll take the tip my vote can't be bought. <laughs> what? If I voted for you, it could be seen as bribery. I feel like we should just turn down the tip altogether. I was curious to see whether guys like you would take a bribe or turn it down. That's the same reason I said that. Oh, whoops. My bad. I just, I just thought it was a good joke. Here's the fair. I wonder if I just missed out on a level up because I said the wrong thing there. Alright, a couple more of these maybe? Uh, the client is traveling with a child. He's interested in... Oh, that sounds fun. Also, th there's one called Seduced by Beauty. We should probably do that one as well. Oh, it's the 21st century mom and the kid again. Hey mom, why is the sea blue? Um... Because fish piss is blue. Oh, this is an actual driving one. All right. And we have a child in the car, so we'll, we'll need to be careful and only hit like five people. Let's go. Pedal to the metal. Hey, driver. Yeah? Is Santa Claus real? I'm Santa. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Joke's on you, kid. I'm actually Santa. Oh, I should have kept going. I, I wouldn't have hit him if I had kept driving, like, if I just held it down. Well, the signal's still good. Wow, that was fast. Hey, driver. Wow, he he was gonna ask me another question, and I just totally cut him off. Apparently, you're not supposed to just slam the finger down on this. I mean, the I it was a valuable lesson for this child to learn that you shouldn't run out into the road in front of cars, and the only way to learn that is with like a really like visceral lesson. You know, like seeing the dude just get like isekai off into the world. He needs to understand that that's what happens. They felt safe with me behind the wheel, too. And there we go. 
feel like it's kind of weird that they felt safe with me considering I hit someone, but you know, it, it's, they were in the car, it's fine. Oh, it's gone. It changed. Kansai dialect? Ooh. Kansai dialect? Yes. Oh wait, we're not actually gonna get to here, right? I almost read that as ghetto hot spring. Hey. Uh, I'd like to go to the ghetto hot spring, please. Thanks. Ain't from around here, adult. How am I supposed to know the way? Do it to you, just get there however fast. I'm gonna have myself a little nap. Take the long way, take the short way. Wake the passenger up and ask. I'm gonna go with the long way. Hey driver, how long till we get there? About 30 minutes. Do you see leave it up to idiot? I'm gonna leave up figuring out the shortest route to you. Who would want to spend any longer with you than they have to? Take the quickest route. Oh, okay. See, I was under the impression that the stereotype for people from Kansai was that they're very laid back and easygoing, so the long the long route would make sense. But I guess not. Current events, huh? Talk about politics. Tell a dirty joke. Talk about sports. This seems like the obvious thing, but I kind of want to hear Q tell a dirty joke. Oh, damn it. You should stay away from politics, religion, and war. Oh, so I guess... Oh, okay. So the third option was right. We're almost there, ma'am. Mind if I pay with a 10,000 yen note? Uh... I don't think I have enough change for that. All I got is 10,000 yen notes. Pay by credit card. There's a convenience store over there. Ask the passenger to go get change. Go and get change. Consider and consider the change a tip. I I would go and get change. I feel like she's another one of those inspector people. Yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's an inspector. Yep, undercover examiner. Damn it, I was ready to tell her dirty jokes. Alright, what's the dirtiest joke you can think of? That's like Twitch TOS friendly. Because to be honest, I, I don't. Like, off the top of my head, like, knowing random jokes, doesn't really come to mind. Like, there are, there are comedians who tell, like, dirty jokes, like Ron White, uh, Dane Cook. Like, Dane Cook's Whopper Layer, slash, like, his, uh, notes about working at Burger King in the drive-thru. That's, that has, that's a dirty joke in there. Um, I'm gonna erase the dude since that like random one that sounded funny is gone. Uh, someone had a complaint about you. It's a high arrest area. Hey guys, Kyukawa. Oh, it's him. All right. Oh, he, he's got to learn how to properly drive. My old stomping grounds. Yeah. Dude, it's freaking Kajiwara. He's a top race in the Devil Killers, one of the four kings. 
Total more cars than you can count. Oh. So he he's probably gonna like crash into us a bunch of times. Huh? Two of my double killers on the hospital right now. Got something you wanna say? Yeah, stop sending your men to beat me up and they'll stop being in the hospital. Oh, he put them in the hospital. Never mind. Yeah, that's a little, that that's that's some interesting logic he has for sure. All right, Kiyokawa, can you be quiet? Yuck, so good. All right, life lessons with Kiyu. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of a dirty joke, honestly. So I assume he's gonna run into me, right? Yeah. Yep. He's very violent. But that's probably fine, honestly. Like, he can be as violent as he wants. I'm not gonna help him when I pull ahead of him. Also, like, if he's always running into people, he's gonna slow down because of it. Oh, he's... No, huh? His car is, like, trailing behind me a bit, according to the mini-map. Does he not... Oh, no, he's catching up. Is he about to... Yep. But it seems kind of stupid for him to use, like, a boost going into a curve like that. Sure. We might as well press the heat button, right? <laughs> ah! This must have been so fun to record. I don't- it didn't really put me that far ahead of him though, honestly. Oh, oh, we're going this way this time. That could have ended poorly. Okay, so... Cut heavily here. Ow. Rude. Yeah, eat shit, Joy. I mean, that's one way to slow you down, right? Does my uh, car have like a health meter or anything I should be aware of for dealing with that kind of thing? Or is it more of a visual aid? No. So you can just crash as much as you want, huh? I mean, like, that's fine, I guess. I suppose it makes it less annoying to beat, right? Okay, he's getting closer again. Alright. Suzuki! Awarimasta. Kachimasu. I have one. Kata. Holy guacamole. That's bullshit. I could lose some two-bit chauffeur. I mean, one more shot, I'll get you this time. Serene voice. I don't think so. Oh. I was expecting a woman. Oh man, oh god, oh man, oh god. It's Yoshimi. Yoshimi? He's one of the four kings. They call him cool Yoshimi. He's cold, he's calking, he's the king of the- Shut the fuck up, kid! What are you doing here, Yoshimi? Why? I was watching you sputter and fail, what else? See, if you had lost, which you did, the owners would fall on me to restore our honor. Thus, I had to come to see Suzuki-san's racing for myself. What? You saying you expect me to lose today? <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> Is that precisely what happened? 
Not over yet, by my rules. Even you lose the race, it doesn't count as long as you win the fight after. You and me, Suzuki. Right here, right now. Alright. I'm okay with this. How many health bars does he have? Let's kill this bandicoot. Damn, I messed up. Oh, he has one health bar. Or, like, two, technically, but, like, one extra, I mean. They really don't give you much time for, uh, for that input, huh? Fuck me. Lost the race, now I lost the brawl, too. That's a first. <laughs> Cretan. And you labor yourself among the four kings? Utterly pathetic. Sorry you had to waste your time on this episode, suzuki -san. Clearly, you picked the wrong opponent. Good to see someone with sense around here. No, he's about to challenge you, Q. Yep. Crash Kajiwara is the weakest link. I mean, he was the first boss, so yeah. You're really gonna take on Cool Yoshimi? Looks that way. I'm good at suzuki -san. You drive with the wind, your toughest nails in a fight? Who exactly are you? Just a humble taxi driver. <laughs> Straightens tie, walks away. Now you know how to handle complaints. Let's head back to the office. I, I don't know if we taught him the right thing here. Hey, did you get a complaint? You should race them and then kick their ass. I think that we're teaching the youth the wrong thing. Maybe we should learn more from that politician we had in our car. Hey. You, I thought you went to apologize. How long is she going to be in the dark for? Because I feel like she's smart enough that she should, like, know better. You know what I mean? Like, that she could put two and two together. I'm just saying, she helped us figure out the moaning computer issue. So, she's smarter than at least half the office. Eh? Cutscene? What if someone's all right through me? Christmas is coming up soon. I could at least send the kids enough money by the gifts they wanted. I would just use the ATM to transfer the money over. If I send it all at once, the kids might get confused, though. So, I need something to make an idea of for Eight. <laughs> Okay. I guess I'll start with the youngest, Izumi. She loves dogs. Send her enough money to buy a new dog collar. 5,000 yen. Okay, so this is... So I need to go to an ATM, it sounds like. Wow, I have a lot of orbs right now. Um, we get more health. Oh, the body is max. So it goes up to... 10? Is that where it was? Let's do essence of face grading. Steal a weapon. I mean, that's useful. Um, let's not throw in another thing of heat. I don't really know where... The M store would have one, right? So we can head north. So, um... You said that you can only send money to the kids a certain number of times. I clearly don't have a million dollars. Before I... 
Um, before I do this, I'm going to head to Ibisu Pawn Shop real quick to sell that plate. Because we might as well try to like send as much money as we can for them so they'll have some nice gifts and such. Also, my phone's um, thing went off. What was it? Oh. It's just bullshit. Ah! That's what it was. I was just dismissing the random notifications. That's what it was. I know what put me in a mood. So yesterday was Valentine's Day. As you all know. And I think one of the factors in like the the brain slop is the fact that uh you know how dating apps like send you notifications are like, hey, you should meet this person and it like tells you like their name or whatever. Like Hinge does this. And it recommended someone to me yesterday who had the same name as uh, my most recent ex, which isn't very recent at all. <laughs> like nearly like seven and a half years or something like that. Um, but I don't really enjoy being reminded of, uh, of my exes, especially on Valentine's Day. So I kind of wonder if that had anything to do with it. Uh, we need an ATM. Do the drugstores have ATMs in them? It's Kamiyama. I feel like the drugstore should have an ATM, but probably the M store at the end of the street to the west would make the most sense. So I'll go there. Also, like, still no, still no jumpsuits. Despite the number of people who have been violently angry at us today. Bonk. Oh, gotcha. If anyone else watches Golden Kamui... Oops. On my way to hit the X button, I smacked the A button. Um, Golden Conway is pretty great, and, uh, Ogata in it, the sniper dude, his voice is so good. That is some American History X shit right there. That is... Horrific to do to someone. Okay, I think the M store is right here. No, I won't wait. All right. They, uh, no, they haven't refreshed the magazines at all. Withdrew all your pay. Send more in glory. Yeah, have a good Christmas, Izumi. Next up is Shiro. He's the same age as Izumi. Unlike the rest of the kids, he never liked playing outside. He was bully in school for a while. He's a big reader. Give him some money for books. So you don't come across cost for the optimum. Is everyone just gonna get five thousand yen? There you go. Next up are Mitsu, Riona, and Ari. They're all the same age. Guess I'll start with Ari. Took not having her parents the hardest. Might be why she tried so hard to fit in with those kids at school. I think she finally that being herself was the best way to make friends. She's a survivor, alright. 
Is is this the is, is this true advice right here? Is the best way to make friends by being yourself? Ugh. Into rabbit themed collectibles. Big rabbit plushie. Eight thousand yen should cover it. There you go. Here's a little friend to keep you company. Riona, the trendiest kid. She likes fashion and Tokyo trends. Always wears long sleeves. I had the burn she got as a kid. Put her eyes on a new pair of shoes at the local shopping district. <laughs> there was a kid in um, in my school growing up who like lived through a house fire or something and had a bunch of burns like like kind of around like his chin bottom like along his neck on his arms and those kind of things and uh he was a really nice dude and uh he became a firefighter actually give him money for clothes six thousand i forget his name though two of my friends became firefighters actually back home the eldest, Aiko Taichi and Koji. Koji likes soccer and baseball. I'll send 10,000 for Koji. It's Aiko and Taichi. I'll take care of Taichi first since he's younger. Um, Taichi needs a new brain, if I remember Yakuza 3 correctly. He also needs allergy medicine. Mentioned wanting a wrestling mask. You can probably get a replica for 10,000. He's going to become a luchador. Last of his Aiko. The eldest of the kids. She's pretty quick on her feet. She needs to balance with the club. She joined the trek thing. Her running shoes are practically falling apart. Send her money for new shoes. A good pair probably runs about 20,000 yen. Those are some expensive fucking shoes, man. Or actually, no, those are cheap. Those are some very cheap shoes. I don't know, when was the last time that you got shoes for 20 bucks? Or, no. Sorry, am I doing the conversion run? Is that 200? Roughly? Oh. Uh, man, I don't know. If I just cancel, does it not spend anything? Have... Four... 100,000 yen. Enjoy. I don't, I don't think we need it, honestly. Like, what do we spend it on? Food? Hi, Wada. Isn't the guy, isn't one of the uh, presenters for Nintendo Direct named Wada? Now then, we drink! One of the rare moments in our, diet in our adult lives where we can take a step back and actually appreciate the responsibilities we have. Can't waste an opportunity like that. Okay. When was the last time you appreciated the uh, responsibilities that you have? What a weird and interesting thing to think about. And at the risk of repeating myself from a while ago, I am once again thinking about how so many things nowadays just like remind me of uh, like management stuff. Again, it's like 
it's like when someone gets a new car and then all you can see is that like same model of car everywhere you're like wow everyone has this car not just me it's the same kind of thing I appreciate my responsibilities, though, to uh, the people who report to me at work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a lot friendlier than I gave you credit for. I mean, I'm just here for the substory, man. Holy shit. What are you doing here? Not good. Your old pal Yuya, right? From Stardust? No, Yuya. You're not- you're supposed to be in Kamurocho. Mm -hmm. You know this guy, Suzuki-san? What's this whole Kiyo-san business? Hmm? Who's Suzuki-san? Of course you wouldn't know him hiding my identity. Had to keep it the facade. I'll pretend I didn't see him. I mean, I'll pretend I didn't see him. I said the wrong guy. My name is Suzuki. How could it be wrong, Kiyo-san? I know you from a mile away. Must just be a chance resemblance. They say there are always three others who look exactly like you somewhere in the world. Come on, Kiyo son. Stop messing around. You're not just pulling my leg. Sorry to interrupt, but who are you? Oh, the name's Yuya. Work as a host in Tokyo. Me and Kiyo son here go way back. Anyway, I thought you were still in Okinawa, so it's strange we're ending you here. Small world, huh? What's this all about, Suzuki san? This Yuya fellow seems to think he knows you. Of course I do. Tell him, Kiyo san. What's my best move? Keep playing dumb or scare him off. I mean, we could certainly scare him off. You used the smart one though, right? From Stardust, like there were two of them. The manager and then the guy who became the manager for the second location. And the second location guy was like the one who was maybe not as tactical, let's say. This guy was the smart one though, right? So, if I keep playing dumb, he'll pick up on it? Why are you trying so hard to avoid me? Suzuki-san, you don't think this guy's trying to scam you, do you? Huh? It's fine, it's strange how insistent he's being, although you keep telling me he's got the wrong guy. I would never do anything like that. I think you might be right, Muramatsu-san. You serious? Look, Yuya, or whatever your name is, keep harassing us, we're gonna have to call the police, you want that? Maybe I really do have the wrong guy. Sorry, Yuya. Okay, then I, best I guess I better leave. Glad you come to your senses, that's really all I wanted. Sorry we had to get a bit forceful with you. Seems he wasn't one of those crooks after all. Yeah, me too. Well, I should probably get going, there's always more work to do. Okay, bye. At least Miramasa bought the act. Do we follow up with Yuya now? Yuya son? Yuya. It is you, isn't it? There's no way I wouldn't recognize a friend. I think it was happening. You're trying to hide your true identity from that Miramasa guy you're with, right? <laughs> Wish you would have gotten the message a little quicker. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. Can't be talking to the number one host manager dude in all of Japan. So you're hiding your past so it doesn't hurt Haruka's chance, chances of becoming an idol? Yeah. Having me around would only cause her trouble. This was the only option. Do you really need to take a new name, though? Man, I had no idea what was going on. Sorry for running my mouth and almost blowing your cover. No need to apologize. Talk about a coincidence. What brings you here, anyway? Oh, I just came here for a vacation. What about the club? Kazuki put you in charge. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yuya is the dumb one. My bad. Kazuki is the one who's the more tactical of the two. Wasn't Yuya bigger before? Like, I, th I thought he was a big dude. Like, the, the, the same color of uh, jacket and everything like that, but I thought... You, are you really here to us on vacation? He's being evasive. You tell me the truth! Can't promise I can do anything about it, but at least I can listen. At least we can listen. You doing okay? Everyone and anyone in chat, you doing okay? You made it through your Wednesday. 
you're getting over the hump of hump day. Are you thinking about quitting the host business? Stardust practically runs itself these days. We have no shortage of rising stars on staff and everything's going smoother than ever. And the guys I once thought of as newbies are now fully able to handle things on their own, so they hardly ever need my advice. As the years move on, I've started to get the feeling that I've lost my way. Kind of like something's missing in my life. It was never like that before. I was always really driven to make Stardust a big success. But now I don't have the same passion. I can tell it's all downhill from here. Do ya? So I thought I should put some distance between me and Stardust. It's not like the only way to find the fire that I used to have. Let's see, this what brought you here, huh? <laughs> it's a thing, right? Going on a trip to do soul searching? Pretty much this is for me. What about Kazuki? Didn't he leave Stardust in your hands? I haven't told Kazuki anything. Not yet, anyway. Hard enough admitting how I feel to myself, let alone the guy who gave me his business. In any case, I'm useless from the way I am now. If I had to go back like this, I'd be better off quitting. Would you really go that far? Can't go on like this, can I? Getting away from Kamurocho was all I could try do to try and fix things, but I still don't know what to do with myself. That said, running to you here has given me an idea. What do you mean? Could start over in a new town, become someone else. Like what you did here. What? I want to make a fresh start too. Be like the old days, when I started the drive to make things happen. I think that'll help me get myself together. God, is is today just like the day of like bad vibe? Not that I'm currently contemplating like doing what you is talking about or anything like that. Like I I do enjoy my job. Enjoy being a word that I'm not entirely sure if the definition fits. The job offers interesting challenges that keep me occupied and help me ignore the rest of the world. That's basically how I define enjoy. Um and fun challenges to figure out and whatnot. But like you you're talking about like, you know, raising people who and like building people up so they don't need your advice anymore on all those things and whatnot. Again, the manager stuff. I should probably find the kind of job nobody else wants to do. A job that forces you to work like crazy to get things done. I, is he going to be a garbage man? Kazuki won't be happy with me, but I don't think there's anything I can say to change your mind. I better head off. I got some serious job I need to do. Oh, the Udon was great. He could go work at that ramen place. That'd be something totally different and keep him sharp and doing completely different things. I hope you find his motivation again. Yeah, well, burnout is one hell of a thing to, to counteract. So there's more for Yuya. So we'll probably run into them that at some point. Um... Is there a tracksuit man anywhere? I feel like there were tracksuit people hanging out by uh, by Komaki's place before. You here? So about the other day, I looked all over for working and I'm getting a gig as a live-in waiter at a hostess club. The place is called Lassine. Lassine? Lassine? So he's still doing host stuff. Or cabaret club. Whoa. Holy purple pimp car, Batman. Enjoy land behind me. What's the spangled meteor doing around here? Mm -hmm -hmm. Something special about it? The lady who drives this sexy piece of machinery is in charge of the Vixen Zeros. They're a group of gorgeous women who can outspeed anyone they challenge. All girl street racing team. Oh. Then they may not be gorgeous at all. The only way to see them is to beat them in a race. Hmm. That's 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 an interesting story. So they challenge you in a race? Would that mean that they show up during like the highway free things, maybe?
You are not in a tracksuit. He has Yakuza go. Though it looks like he's a Tojo clan dude, considering he has a little, little pin on his lapel. So, I mean, the only the only people have that too, I guess. But Lock onto the guy who's actually closest to you. That'd be that'd be immensely appreciated. Fuck! I pressed the left trigger too late. Oh. That's like really good damage, but also like I kind of wish I didn't buy it. It hurts. Like I get like sympathy pain looking at that. got back up. jumpsuits. Wait, is that one? No, that's that's a lady in a red coat. Never mind. I thought this lady right here was a jumpsuit wearer. My bad. No. Yakuza man, no, I just I just want to progress the main story. That's all I want to do oh. oh God that that hurts to watch it really does Also, what's up turtles they just Oh, heck yeah. Get a two for the price of one there. Bonk. That's, that's not what I wanted. I, I just want to kick him in the head. Thank you. Toyota's just staying down. Very nice. Thanks for the money. Let me... Ooh, speaking of money. The Silver Surfer here. Alright, now be honest. Would you wear this suit? Well, he's got at least four broken ribs, probably. Um, Alright, this is the dog substory that I think I actually. Oh, oh, they are actually hitting a dog. Degenerate washout. Okay, me next, I'll hit for sure this time, just you watch. Oh boy. You know what this reminds me of? Well, it reminds me of two things, actually. One, it reminds me of a tweet I saw earlier today. And two, it reminds me of when that, like, New Zealand chick threw the puppies into the river. And then, like, within a matter of hours, the internet had, like, tracked her down. And called the police on her, basically. But uh, the tweet I saw was a, like, traditional, I guess traditional, Chinese dish. Where, like, 
they they like protect the head of a fish and then like batter and fry the body of it and then serve it so like it's a it's like a fully fried fish that is still alive and like its head and everything like it's still breathing and you can see it like you know there and it's on a plate it's like what the fuck like i don't understand like why people would do that like i like i'm not like i'm not a vegetarian i love meat but also like if you're gonna kill something to eat it kill it and then eat it don't eat it while it's alive that's fucked up Yes, you're not one of them, are you? Not even close. Does it make you feel strong to pick on the weak and defenseless? She might have to say this, but I guess every town has its fair share of losers. Shut your face! You should never mess with us in the first place! Boys, cripple this son of a bitch! It's funny, like, son of a bitch to me doesn't even sound like an insult. Because I don't think of, like, that as an insult. It's like, oh, son of a bitch. I think of, like, that one scene with S Sylvester Stallone and... It's not Arnold, but it's another... Or maybe it, no, maybe it is Arnold, actually. It might be Arnold Schwarzenegger and, uh... It's not Wesley Snipes. It's someone else. And it's like the one where they go, you son of a bitch. And they like clap their hands together. You know the you know the scene I'm talking about? You got a pack of one, two, three gum. What? Thanks, mister. Don't mention it. They hurt you, did they? You're like I could take you home. Actually, I ran away. I had a fight with my dad. Kind of girl like you rarely ran away from home. Yeah, my dad's probably still angry at me, so I don't want to go back right now. What's your name? Haruka. Haruka Shinohara. Haruka? Interesting. Even your name is the same. Same as who? My uh, adopted daughter. So you and this Haruka turn live apart now? Yeah. I'm not sure I'll ever see her again. Why not? Can't you just go and visit? It's a bit more complicated than that. As much as I want to be in her life, I know I'm only being selfish. Besides, I think I've done all I can for her as a father. It's probably for the best. How about you? Why do you run away? Here's the thing. I'm not actually related to my dad either. Eh? None but all. I guess that's another thing I've got in common with your heart, Jen. Strange, isn't it? My real dad died a long time ago. And normally my stepdad's really nice. But he gets super angry these days. Something that worked not going well. I don't know the details. Anyway, he blew up at me for some reason. I told him to his face. Like, the old dad would never yell at me. Then I left the house. Ouch. I mentioned having a real dad. My stepdad got this really sad look on his face. He just kept staring at me like he'd been hit in the head or something. That's when I knew I'd hurt his feelings real bad. Guess that's why he didn't come running after me. <laughs> but mom and dad are glad I'm not around to cause trouble anymore. So, so now I've got nowhere to go home. Where do you live, Haruka? I will get your dad to come pick you up. But I don't think he... <sighs> your dad was probably just caught off guard. There's no way he'd be happy you're gone, I'm sure of it. It's also a dad's job to bring his kid home when they run away. You just need to wait for him. Where's your dad right now? Probably at Cafe Portugal, working with mom. We actually live in that building. Cafe Portugal. Okay, I'll be back with your dad soon. Just hang tight. God, that's... You know, there's a lot of reasons why... Uh, why people don't... Like, dating scene-wise. Like, a lot of people don't date people who already have kids. And, like, you can say that that's, like... Selfish or bad or whatever and such. But, like... That, like pain right there from like helping to raise a kid like being close enough for them to call you their dad sometimes and then they blow up at you and like pull the real dad card i could i could see that being a deterrent 
Also, am I blind? Where is this place? On Nagasa Boulevard. That's North Nagasa. So it's the one in the middle. Okay, so that's not very far away. North and west. North left, as it were. Oh, there he is. We found one. We found a red jumpsuit boy. I am now kind of hoping that this doesn't immediately advance the main quest. So it needs to go down. There we go. Get up, Yenida. You want to come with me for a sec? Oh, very nice. See, I don't know why I'm okay with a, like, kick to the face right on the nose that would probably, like, break it and seriously mess it up. But, like, the face grinding is what gets me. They're both, like... They're both really mean. Like, generally speaking, what the fuck is going... In the middle of the street, dude. Now this is just a bad angle, right? Like he's he's yanking her purse, right? Um, excuse me. Oh, it's a revelation. Oh, no, okay, it is that. Hit him right in the balls. Oh, wait, are these the two from before? That's the stalker, right? Death. The pop, though. Did did something just snap? Dude, that dude's a boss. Holy shit. I must learn his taxi ways. Oh, good. We've learned how to violence even harder. Wow. Essence of Doris, I mean. Yeah, that was the dude from before. But damn, that's... Dude, that guy is awesome.
Is, is, is this the dead? God damn it. Dude. Okay, you have a cold, sir. What are you doing out on the street? Go, get back inside. Oh, there's a devil killer dude here. Sekiguchi. I wonder if he writes that with, uh, with the kanji for, uh, for mouth on the end, for the Gucci part. And the Seki, like, what if his name literally means world mouth? Like, big-ass blabber mouth, basically. There we go. Say kai da 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 na 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 dun 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 na Sorry, the world is mine just popped into my head. And get wrecked. Shimura. Shimura. Boku no Hero, the, the new episodes come out on uh, on Saturdays, is that right? Cafe Portugal, right? You are his father. See my daughter? Run off and hasn't come home. I know. I actually saw her not too long ago. I can take you to where she is if you like. Of course, lead the way. Two dads helping each other out. Oh shit, she's gone. Where's my daughter? She should be here. Don't see her anywhere. What's the meaning of this? Over here, you old farts. Oh no, she's joined a gang. And she's become the leader. So those guys that were tormenting that puppy. So they're back when we were... Oh, am I going to fight alongside the dad? You may think you're tough, but you have strength in numbers now. You don't stand a chance. I don't know, man. We got the power of dad on our side. Taking my daughter hostage. What kind of father would I be? Take them on together. Yo, you guys want to find out what a dad bod means? Wait, come here, knife boy. Out you go! Oh darn, he didn't throw him into the water. Time to work on the heat. Nice. You know, He Man might have the power of Greystone, but we've we've got this going for us, so it's fine. By the power of Dad Bod. You get a all right, Sword Boy. Out you go. Cool off. Oh, today uh, in Japanese class we went over like cooking stuff because we were learning the. Uh, like the Tara form of, uh, of verbs, which is like how you express like when something has happened, then something else will happen afterwards. It's kind of like sort of like a conditional, I guess. You really pick a punch there, sir. You didn't do so bad yourself. Look, your daughter's waiting. And uh, we learned about boiling water and transitive versus intransitive verbs. You're really going crazy not knowing where you were. What, Dad? I'm sorry I said those terrible things about wishing my biological dad was around. It was a terrible thing to say. Don't worry, I don't expect you to forget about him just because I'm around. And I'm sorry I got frustrated and yelled at you. Promise I won't do that again. All I care about is that you come home safe with me and your mom. Okay, let's go home, Dad. So you're good now, Haruka? Hey, wait up, I haven't had a chance to thank you properly. No, it's not much, but here, take this. 
Beads of Good Fortune. These beads will reduce the number of unwanted confrontations on town. That does sound kind of handy. Thanks, mister. Hope you can go see your Haruka-chan sometime. Bet she misses you too. Huh. Like you said, isn't it dad's job to bring the kids back home when they run away? You're right. Not that it was Haruka who ran away. Fair. I do, like, from the minimal amount of information we know about the whole situation with Haruka and Kiryu and his reasonings, like, his reasonings make sense. Like, if she's trying to make it in the idol industry, which is an intense industry, having, like, a connection to some random person in the Yakuza is not going to help her, right? Like, maybe it could possibly help her, like, monetarily, but if she's supposed to, like, make it on her own, like, cleanly, then it's not going to... not going to do it. Okay, so we did fight. We did fight some, like, people in jumpsuits. But I guess they didn't count. Or something. Who's that? That's Shogi, man. Who are you? So lovely. Oh, he's just a random dude. I don't know why he looked like a subtask. Oh no, they're about to start. Whomst? He recognizes me. Oh, this is Victory Road guy, right? I asked you to stand for, in for me when I was shooting that period piece. Oh, oh, this is the actor. Um. I'm working on a new project, but I hurt myself to assume as what to start again. That'll bring this up to the director of me biting my nails this entire time. To get another two hour manicure. Hey, you've already done this before, so I really need your help. Can you stand in for me again? Sure. I thought find someone else is the first option. Yakuza action movie. Alright. Let's let's fight people. This was the side quest before where you had to do certain moves, right? Uh vampires? Z zombie people? Howdy hey Q, it's been a while. Because <sighs> I've memorized the parts. You finally made it, Tatsu of Kamuro. I'm here to end this, brother. Can we have an appeal for you? See, you're a vampire, right? So you knew. So you joined them. First, he goes against the swept back hair zombie, then defeats the zombie wearing a hat. He then finished off the charging zombie in a flashy yellow jacket. He finally finishes off the last zombie in glasses. I don't think I'm going to be able to remember this order. If, uh, if any kind soul wants to like make a note of like hair hat jacket glasses or something then uh that would be good the hazy movie you saw from the boss was fake for his final attack his <sighs> special demon blade technique the boss will be waiting for you in hell uh, yeah, sure. Well, I'll do my best. There's no way I'm going to hit everything. So. So you finally made it. I'm here to end this, brother. For you see, you're an umpire, right? You're a campfire, right? Hot eyes, motherfucker. Okay, so 
Swept back hair. They're talking about the guy on the left, right? Oh, I think they're in order, actually. Because it's hair, hat, jacket, glasses, right? So left to right. Oh shoot. Oh wait, no, that, that worked, okay. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll see. It, it like killed them at the same time, so I'm not actually sure if it truly worked or not. Also, this... So that worked. I think I got the order correct. Let's see if you're really immortal or not, I think. Okay, then this is the sword part. Oh wait, this is the one where we had to defeat them with uh, special moves. I don't know why it's it's so Whoops. I don't know why that move like upsets me so much. So we got a few of them with special moves. We got some points. Now you have to deal with me. Behold the hazy moon. The hazy moon you stole from the boss was fake. The honeymoon the boss went on was fake. What the boss gave was merely a replica. I kind of like the third line more. I kind of want to say this. I know it's not the one in the script, but it's better. Although, actually, well, no. Stealing and giving are two different things. Be a fight for my life. I think the last line we have is something to do with Immortal. Vampire Yamashiro. Oh, good. This thing's infinite. finish it off with a special move. So we have to get him down like far enough that we can do the special moves, I guess. This has got to do it, right? Come on. Oh, just barely. Uh. Shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to, I need to like taunt him. Down. How do I, how do I swap? How do, how do you swap weapons? I'm holding the thing down, but it's not like swapping back. I can't, I can't change it. How do you unequip something? 
How do, how do you unequip something? I, I need to build heat, so I need to taunt, but I can't I can't taunt while I'm wearing while I'm holding the sword. It doesn't work. God damn it. Does this give me actually wait 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 wait. Hold on. We we have a solution. It's called drugs. There we go. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Am I dying? Me a vampire with eternal life? Apologize to the boss on the side. The boss is dating four girls in hell. Yeah. You could have been an even bigger villain than I. There you go, buddy. I thought there was a line about immortal stuff. I love that stuff you add up there too. Wait, did I answer something wrong? I thought I got them all right. You got a hundred thousand yen. Nice. Otsukare sama dashita. Ots. Oh, apparently I dropped like a thousand frames at some point somewhat recently so that's cool achievement unlocks sub story baby that the new mariah carey song okay i mean so my my goal tonight was not to do a bunch of sub stories it was to advance the main quest i swear that's what i was trying to do really Really, I I I am legitimately trying to get more, more, but the main quest being to go find random track people, random tracksuit dudes, is uh not working out too well. I'm gonna do a taxi mission, and then I guess I'll walk north and maybe head towards my apartment. Please go to Meisei Street. Wakarimashita. Look at that face. Nihongo dekimashita. Yes! Hi! Cho. Cho. Skoshi. Cho. Choto. Fukuoko wa saiko! Tabemono! Oyeshi! What did you eat? Oh, uh, Namae wasuremashita. Well, what was in it? Kare. Akai tamago. Kare akai tamago? Hmm, that must be. Karashi takana onsen tamago karaishi mentaiko. Um. This is the only one that involves eggs, as far as I know. Karashi Mentaiko sounds right for some reason to me, even though I don't think it is. Eggs, huh? Was it onsen tamago? Hot spring eggs? Dan Chigao! Holy shit, I was right! Well, I wasn't. I didn't click the right thing, but I was right. It was that... Spicy red eggs are right. Spicy cod roe. Oh, it wasn't real eggs. Well, I mean, they are real. They're fish eggs. <laughs> Why can you not guess, aren't you Japanese? What could you must say? Nihongo Janai. Show me that more thought. Anata. Fukuo. Fukuoka jina. Bari. Deiteimasu. They do use that ladder on here when they want to stress thing. Baite oshite kudasai. Ego de. Bari in English, huh? Very special. Let's go! Uh, he said when it, he was emphasizing, right? So very. It's a local term they use to emphasize things, so I guess you'd say very in English. So ka. So bari. Is very. Easy to remember. Kantan <laughs> Anata, arigato, 
Bari gozaimasu. Hmm, looks like he gets it. Anata. Hi. I want to get a tattoo with Chinese guy. I don't know how to say that. Tell me a cool phrase, yeah? Kanji tattoo ka? Should get one that actually means something instead of just speaking when it looks good. What do you want it to say? Hmm. Like to love life to the fullest. I don't know how to say that in Japanese, sorry. What Japanese phrase would convey that? A phrase about a simple meal, a phrase about encounters, a phrase about grilled meat. Probably about encounters? Though this guy looks like he'd enjoy grilled meat. How about Ichigo Ichiya? Doyui ni. Means you should treasure every encounter. Good! Ugh. I guess it's like you and me. That's right. Decided. I'm getting Ichigo Ichiya tattoo. Oshimas. Aigato. That went over well. I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't get the Mantaiko, right? Thank you, you're a good driver. Here's the money. Thanks, dude. Goodbye. Sorry I couldn't, like, translate him entirely into, like, poor, poor grammatical Japanese to really enhance the flavor of the uh, side quest for you. I did my best, though. A lonesome soul. Sure. I don't mind doing this to, like, make money. Because then we can send a bunch of money to, uh, to, to the orphanage. To Hawaii, please. And stick to the local roads, won't you? Hey. Just don't mind me. I like getting a ride of other people. Hey. You're not here. Come, haha, <laughs> I'm so zany. Oh, I'll show you zany. I, I, I didn't actually like where we're going. Time for a pop quiz. Question number one. What's your blood type? My guess is B. The correct answer was alien blood. Oh. What's my name? That's tricky. That's not tricky or Ricky. Look, Jared, there's a UFO. Um, where? You should have seen your face. Hasn't there been a bunch of like stuff in the news recently around UFOs? Like, wasn't there, like, some thing in Alaska or something? My stomach is sore. Uh, no it's not. Yeah, I was thinking, how could you tell? It's your fucking moron. Here you go. Quick arrival. No repositioning. Hm. He's so zany, haha. <laughs> So exhausting talking to guys like you. You're welcome. Well, thanks, buddy, old pal. Now get out of my car and leave me alone. Um, seduced by beauty. Hey, this is the one that I wanted to do before. I would like to know what this mission is. Oh. Can you take me to Osei Bridge? Yeah, sure, lady, get in. Not exactly dressed the weather. I mean, it was pretty warm here today, so I don't know what the weather's like in Fukuoka, but it's fine. Oh dear, why the long face? Got to set up for a date. Oh, that's too bad. You even bought this outfit specifically for today, but it was all for nothing. You should check your nose hairs. Say driver. I don't suppose you could take me out on a date. What? You mean now? Yes, I won't take much of your time. Just walk with me a little, okay? 
Uh. Okay. You really will? Thanks. Oh, wow, we actually are going to go on a date. Thanks, driver. Can I ask you one more thing? Could you hold my hand? Oh, come on. What harm could it do? Uh, apparently caused some problems with Hiroshi-kun. Oh. Interesting. Well, I know one way out of this. The way of the dragon. Hello. Why don't you chill for a little bit while I take out your friends? There you go. Easy peasy. That stun is really, really good. Alright, buddy, get up. Get up. Stop clipping to the sidewalk and get up. Thanks. Oh, I was hoping it would kill him. Bye-bye. Wow, he really sprinted away. Alright, well, I thought it was just going to be like a wacky, fun little date thing. But okay. Kids these days. Eh. I'm okay for now. I think we've done enough taxi stuff for the time being. I'm I'm just a little bit upset, honestly, right now that we have yet to uh like We've ran the entire time running around doing this, and I've been doing sub stories, so we like we have destinations to like move towards. We've ran into one set of people with jumpsuits, and that's it. So I don't know if like the whole point is that you're supposed to do a bunch of side quests right now, but I don't really like the fact that we're just like semi-stuck like not able to advance because of this Worth it to use the the big thing on the big dude. It's you. Damn. Take out two. And we're good. Okay, so that's good. Sounds like Ogata again. Um, is there a food place near where I live by chance? This looks like food. I I have noticed that my health is low. I, I'm not just running around getting into fights hoping that I die to refresh our health without having to pay money. Wow, this fixes everything. Hanamidori something. Green flower what? Hmm. Weird. Alright, well, I mean, I'm gonna save it Q's apartment and then call it a night for now. 
and again sorry that we didn't advance the main story at all like there was we, I, I don't know I'll try harder next time I guess but like I don't know I'm not, I'm not crazy right like this is kind of tricky to actually do it because it's not like we know where they hang out and there's not really any uh you know there's no guide or, or marker on the map right nope so really you're, you're just supposed to run around find people wearing red jumpsuits and kick their ass It is a very Kiryu like solution, but man, is it a terrible, terrible solution. That's that's our friend, the chef. Tissue lady. I don't know. Um, I guess next time, next time we play this, I, I, I guess we'll do better or something. Maybe there's specific locations where more of them show up. I think, where did I see one of them before? Was it on the boulevard? Spent a lot of time there. <sighs> but yeah, I'm I'm kind of tired. Um, I'm happy that we did like all the sub stories that we did and everything. That that was that was good experience, good money. We sent some to the orphanage. We learned a little bit more about Haruka and his uh, issue for now. And we'll probably find out more later. So for now, that's going to be it for the night. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, sorry if I wasn't a, uh, a bundle of sunshine today. But uh, hey, at least, at least Gundam Unicorn has a 59 foot slash 18 meter tall life-size statue of himself in Odaiba. Just just saying. It's pretty cool. It's pretty pretty neat. You should you should see it if you ever go there. Anywho. Uh I'm gonna leave now. I will give you this. When I was cleaning my apartment to move and such and like putting things away, I moved uh I moved my plushies over to like a location where they'd easily like hang out and could be covered with plastic so they wouldn't get dirty while everything's happening and so there's the christmas miku and then the regular miku and then imposter miku one of these things is not like the other one of these things does not belong one of these things is not like the other da, 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 da.